Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, there's a, yeah, the, <laughs> there is a karmic individual here that's stuck in her head. Um, I feel like there's a masculine who may be providing for her, giving her money, um, paying her bills, um, and she knows that this masculine wants you, okay? They're watching you. The, whoever this masculine is, they're watching you close. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they know that you're the one. Um, this karmic or whoever this is could be uh, possibly a Gemini or maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I'm getting the sense that, you know, she's using lust and passion to try to keep this person in a situation where she's um, basically spending their money. It's all about money. Okay, and she knows that she's about to get cut out of the situation. She's really stressed out. This is a lot of anxiety. This is being obsessed. Um, she's also very suspicious. Uh, you know, I feel like this person, this masculine comes home and from work or something like that. And she, she gives him 20 questions every day. Like, where have you been? How come it took you so long? If he's like five minutes late from showing up um, from work, she's freaking out about it. I feel like she's, uh, she's maybe having a hard time controlling her temper. She knows that this masculine wants you and they're about to approach you. Like, she knows, okay? She's picking it up intuitively. She's seeing all the signs. This masculine, they're not focusing on her at all. They're only watching you. So this masculine could be watching you on the internet or um, driving past your house, walking past your house, you know, um, watching you work or going past, driving past your work, something like that. They're watching you very close. Social media, right? Yeah, I feel like um, somebody here is hanging on to, I feel like this masculine's hanging on to you knowing that it's coming to an end here because you're tired of waiting around for this person and they're still in a karmic situation. And I feel like um, this karmic is trying to hang on to this masculine really tight because she knows it, that they're about to end it with her to come to you. It's it's kind of a mess. Um there could be a whole lot of gossip going on. Uh, I feel like this feminine energy may even be trying to gossip about this masculine, spread some rumors about you. Yeah, see, you may not even want this person back. I'm feeling like you're, you've got your boundaries up right now. You know, you're somebody who um, walks in integrity and strength. And you've got standards. You're not going to be with somebody who's with someone else. You don't, you're not, you're, you're ready for a commitment. You know, um, you weren't made to stay in stagnancy and wait for somebody to break free from someone else. You're not, you're not an option. You're a high value person. And I feel like you're ready for somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated to you. And you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve here with the strength card. You may see this person as a manipulator. Um, I, I, they may feel like an, a fool. <laughs> uh, you may see them as a fool. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is heavy Virgo energy, maybe Aries. This person juggled you. They manipulated you in the past. And I feel like you don't trust them anymore. Yeah. Yes. I feel like all this person was wanting from you um, originally was lust and passion. They, they were only in it for moments of personal gratification. Okay? And then I feel like you were cut out of their world. You were sacrificed. So I'm really getting that this person came in, made an impulsive move towards you, saw you as a big temptation, right? They could have even already been um, with this other individual, 
and uh, and they manipulated you. And I feel like they they uh, had some passion, some intimacy with you, and then tossed you aside for this um, for this Queen of Wands energy, this other person. So yeah, you don't trust them anymore after what they've done, and then they juggled you for a while. Maybe started some kind of competition. You know, you could even be this person's divine partner. A divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy. It's not gender specific. But I feel like you're also saying, you know, you made your choice in love. This is, this is the bed you made, right? You made your bed, now you need to lie in it. Yeah, I'm moving on, says the collective. <laughs> Uh, yes, you could be a Leo. You could possibly even be a, um, a Scorpio. Maybe a Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this person gave you ten swords, right? And you're trying to put um, some of that behind you in the past. You want to you wanna move forward. You don't want to be waiting around anymore in stagnancy, okay? You know, you are not going to just sit back and wait for this person. I feel like this whole time in separation, you've been working on your abundance, your stability with the Queen of Pentacles out here. You've been elevating spiritually, okay, upgrading in your life. And, uh, and now this person doesn't want to let you go. They're, having, they're in a lot of pain. They're, they may even be feeling fairly betrayed. But I don't know why they would be feeling betrayed by you. You're moving on. I feel like this person um, backstabbed you, betrayed you, uh, used you, and sacrificed you. Yeah, you had nothing but love for this person. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on Scorpio. Uh, but you're, you had this cup extended towards them at one point, you know, that's that cup of love, right? But now you're, you're leaving, you're, um, you're, you're driving this boat right clear off your spread and you're being divinely led. Okay. Keeping your moves hidden. You're not saying goodbyes. You're not giving any explanations. You're not putting any information out there. Um, I feel like you're being divinely led to keep, you know, maybe even you're making a house move. You're being led to keep your address quiet, all your moves hidden at this time. I feel like spirit is leading you right to the Ten of Cups. And honestly, I feel like this person from your past, they see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment here. They see you as um, if they were with you, everything would be perfect and beautiful and happy um, they would be loved, they'd be fulfilled in life, but instead they chose this queen of, of wands. And I'm telling you, um, they're not even paying her any attention at all. They don't want that person. Um, and whoever this queen of wands is, she knows it. They're about to cut this queen of wands out. And they want you, okay? But I feel like you're already starting a whole new cycle for yourself. Yeah, see, they're getting ready to communicate. This person is thinking about what they're going to say, how they're going to say it. They're putting a lot of strategic thought into how they're going to communicate with you, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like this person was very arrogant, okay? They kind of, it feels like to me they kind of did whatever they wanted to do, and they didn't even, it's like they didn't even care how it made you feel, okay? They could be very harsh with their communication as well. When this person cut you out of their life, um, you, you didn't get an apology. You could have gotten... Um, some insults, or they could have even projected some things onto you. You know, maybe they wanted to make you feel like it was your fault or something like that. Um, yeah, now they're, they're jealous. This person could also be finding out some information because people are gossiping about whatever you're doing. 
Um, and they may be finding out that you're getting somebody new. Okay. I feel like this person is jealous about that. They're able to see you or find out what you're doing. Even if you're keeping your moves hidden, they have, somehow they're getting this information. I don't know if you're posting things on the internet or they're talking to people that you might know. There's a lot of gossip going on about you behind the scenes. And this person, yeah, now they're in a lot of regret, see? They're in a lot of, the, of regret for ever turning their back on you because they want you. And they're still with somebody else. They, they haven't ended it quite yet. So um, this new person is coming forward. Divine is bringing you some new love, a new soulmate connection. Um, and uh, you're going to be happy here with the Ten of Cups. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. They're in a whole lot of regret. I feel like this person is kind of maybe praying that you don't get new love. Okay? But the fact of the matter is, is they really don't have a right to be um, even having their nose in your business after what they've done to you. You know? I, I, I'm getting that this is all on them. You showed this person nothing but love. They're an emotional wreck on the inside, but they're trying to hide it, okay? They were hoping that maybe someday in the future, um, you guys could get back together. But I, I'm seeing you getting somebody new coming into your, into your life. Um, I wanted to say your love life, right? So your love life's about to be popping with somebody new. This new person... Um, could be in the public eye. They've got their act together. They're very well liked in their community. You know, that's how. This person's getting tarot card readings on you, okay? Um, or you could be a tarot card reader. But yeah, I feel like that this is one of the ways they're finding out this information. So they're looking you up online. They could be like... Um, driving past your house, things like that, but they're getting the majority of the information is, is coming through tarot. Let me get a different deck. What action is this person going to take? I'm seeing them coming in really way too slow on making you an offer. Okay, but I'm also seeing them putting a lot of thought into what they're about to say to you. Yeah, see, they, they want this new beginning. They want a second chance, and I feel like you're gonna, um, you're gonna get an apology from this person that you may not even want to listen to anymore. Like you may not need their apology anymore. You could have already forgiven this person and released this connection a while ago. Yeah, see, here comes that apology, and you're gonna be like, "There's nothing in this cup but a fish. I've got all these other options around me. You're not the only fish in the sea." Yeah. So I feel like um, this person knows it, that the, any apology that they give you now, after what they've done and all of this time, it's going to be, it's going to seem very feeble, okay? Yeah, see, you're holding out for an emperor. And this person from your past, they know it. They know it. Um, you may even tell this person this when you get this apology. You know, I don't think you're going to be harsh or cold to them. I think you're, you're a very peaceful person. You want peace right now in your life, okay? But you're only going to be um, having a new beginning with an emperor. That's it. And I feel like um, this new person may be coming into your life really quickly. It could very well be an emperor because spirit knows that that's what you're ready for and that's what you deserve, you know? Some of you could also be moving away. See, I'm seeing this offer from a new person coming in really quickly, okay? So this is fast-moving energy. This is somebody new coming towards you. I'm, I am seeing somebody here making some kind of house move, location change. Ooh, and look at this. This is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting something solid. 
Um, and it's coming in here with an emperor. So you're about to meet somebody new. And uh, this King of Cups energy, I'm telling you, you could be, this person from your past could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're going to be a blubbering mess over this. Okay? Because I feel like they're missing their opportunity. They should have come in with an apology a long time ago. Yeah, see, they chose somebody toxic over you. Um, and that's this this Queen of Wands energy. They're they're gonna realize that they're stuck, or they're gonna they're gonna be watching you be happy with a new person while they remain in a toxic situation. Okay. I feel like this person wants to break free. I'm I'm really picking up that they wanna leave this um, this other um, feminine energy behind. But if they can't, if they can't have you, they'll just end up staying where they are in a situation that they don't really want, getting burned by the devil. Okay? So, I mean, they're kind of bouncing. They're bouncing around. They're very, they're going to be very jealous, very upset when they find out that you're getting an emperor. And you may have already met this new person. Or, or you may not have. They're, they're coming in fast, though, with this Eight of Wands energy. Oh, yeah. And it's going to lead to your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This new person is going to be um, the one that you commit to, you know, because that's the one who deserves to have your love. And I feel like this, yeah, this masculine energy, they're just going to walk away from this. They're going to be having nightmares about it every night, doing a lot of crying late at night, you know, stressed out about it. They're not going to stop obsessing about you. They, they're going to they're gonna keep their feelings for you inside, and they're going to end up staying in a toxic situation. Okay? Yeah. And you're going to move forward to new love. Let's see what your oracles say. What can you show me? But this new love, I'm telling you, it's just what you wanted. It is. It's exactly what you wanted. Yeah, look, this new masculine, this is masculine energy. This new person here, they're coming in hot. They are. You're about to meet a, um, a new soulmate connection. That, and this is going to lead to marriage, um, generational wealth, building um, an empire, and ultimate wish fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment, okay? It's going to lead to your everything. So, yes, you, in fact, do have somebody new who is um, entering your life very quickly. And a big change is about to happen in your love life, okay? <laughs> Spirit's telling you, just go with it. It's going to be a serendipitous moment when you meet this person. Like, you're going to recognize them, perhaps, at a soul level, okay? Um, and this is a just-go-with-it card, all right? <laughs> yeah. And this, I feel like it's ending with this person from your past. See, look, big changes. There's that window letting, opening up and letting all of this love come in for you, okay? And this new person, this emperor, they're going to be honest and real with you, Okay? So get ready, collective. Also, we have another five. That means change coming in right underneath change. <laughs> so that's a confirmation. Your love life is about to have a huge, massive change and upgrade, okay, with this new passionate emperor coming in. Ooh, I love that for you, collective. <laughs> 